channel so if you're new go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the little notification bell so that way you'll never miss an upload from me and if you're old thank you so much for coming back for another video so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some of my beginner friendly curly hair tips and if you're not a beginner then maybe this will be a good refresher for you um, but I'm just going to be sharing my top 10 curly hair tips and I'm just basing these tips off of my experiences when I first started wearing my hair natural so I know that there's plenty other tips out there on YouTube and everywhere else but these are the 10 that I found most helpful when I started my hair journey all right so let's just jump in with tip number one all right guys so my first curly hair tip is to develop a hair routine so obviously when you first start out as a new natural you're gonna need to develop some kind of hair routine or hair regimen and if you don't really know what that is just think of it as sort of like a schedule for your hair you've got to know when you're gonna you wash your hair, co-wash, deep condition, style it, all that good stuff. Now, when I first started wearing my hair natural, I had no idea about a hair routine. I'm like, don't you just wash it and do your hair and move on? But no, when you are wearing your hair natural or curly, there's a process that you need to follow. And when you're first starting out, it may seem a little bit, you know, too much. But as you get used to it and, you know, get the hang of it, it it's really simple it's not that hard at all it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing you just kind of have to mimic someone's and then just kind of create your own and go from there but I felt like in the beginning it was a little bit hard for me because I wasn't used to having any kind of routine for my hair so what I did was write it down on paper like all the different steps that I was going to do and it wasn't super long but I just wasn't used to it but as I kind of got the hang of it I no longer needed that piece of paper and I just it's like clockwork now so just make sure you create some sort of a hair routine so you can start training your hair and getting your hair to where you want it to be in your journey my next curly hair tip is to deep condition often however often that means for you and it's gonna vary between each person just make sure you're doing it now this is going to be important throughout your entire natural hair journey, but this was especially important for me at the beginning of my journey because most of us are coming into this from some kind of damage, whether it be heat damage, chemical damage, relaxers, some kind of chemical situation, you know. This tip is going to be crucial for restoring your hair's health, so just make sure you're deep conditioning often. Um, you can either buy the deep conditioners in store or you can create your own hair mask at home, which is what I did a lot in the beginning. Okay, so for my third curly hair tip, you want to make sure you keep your ends moisturized. Your ends are the oldest, driest, most fragile parts of your hair, so you want to make sure you're keeping those ends hydrated, and if you don't, it's going to dry up and it will break off. So whatever you're doing to your hair, just make sure you pay extra attention to your ends and make it like your baby. You know, give it a little extra love and care and that will be key for length retention. All right, so tip number four is all about trial and error. You're going to have to, you know, find what works for you by trying new products. Um, you may want to, you know, mix and match some different brands. And a quick tip on that, if you're mixing different products from different brands, you want to test it out in the palm of your hands first. Like just take a little pea-sized amount of whatever products you're wanting to use together and also a little bit of water. Rub your hands together and if it balls up, then you will know that that's not going to work for your hair. It'll just leave residue all up in your hair and it will completely ruin your entire wash day all those minutes or hours that you spent washing your hair and styling your hair would be gone in the trash because you're gonna have to start over trust me I know from experience also you want to be mindful and pay attention to the ingredients that you're putting into your hair and try your best to stay away from sulfates parabens silicones any of those bad harsh chemicals that you're not supposed to be using in your natural hair journey just try to stray away from those as much as possible and even through in your trial and error process you can also you know DIY some products of your own whether you want to make your own hair mask your own gel whatever the case is like just get creative and have fun with it 
Um, but just, yeah, you're going to have to go through trial and error like everybody. And this is probably going to be an ongoing thing. You know, these different hair brands nowadays, they're coming out with stuff left and right. Like, it's kind of hard to keep up. There's so much in the market. So, I mean, it's just all about your preference and what you want to try, what you want to use, what works for your hair, what doesn't work for your hair. But yeah, you're going to have to figure that out for you. And I always like to stress on my channel, just because something worked or didn't work for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work or not work for you. So you have to test it out for yourself and find what works best for you. Okay, so tip number five is to do your own research. Now, there's plenty of internet resources out here. You've got Google, you've got YouTube, um, you've got websites like naturallycurly.com, curlynicky.com. Those were the two websites that helped me the most when I first started my natural hair journey. Um, they have tons and tons of free articles that you can read on whatever hair topic. I mean, there's tons of information out there. You just have to be willing to find it and just know that if you have questions, you can reach out to me. And I appreciate those of you who have, you know, slid up in my DMs. I do respond back to people. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and we can get you going, girl. Oh yeah, and another thing, another tool that really helped to jumpstart my natural hair journey was this book called The Curly Girl Handbook. You should be familiar with it, but if not, I'll put a link down below. But yeah, like I said, there's a million resources out here on the internet, so just make sure you do your own research. And like I said, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Go ahead and slide in my DMs. It's okay. It's okay. Just as long as you don't get crazy. <laughs> okay, so for my next curly hair tip, this is going to sound a bit crazy and unconventional but trust me from my experience i had to learn this the hard way and i don't understand why more people don't talk about this but hey these are just my tips from my experiences and i feel like it needs to be said so my sixth tip is to keep your nails groomed and you're probably thinking like what do my nails have to do with my hair well if you have chipped nails you're going to be you know styling your hair with your fingers so if your nails are chipped you're going to be accidentally like snagging your hair pulling your hair out from the roots okay and let me just tell you from experience that's not a good feeling okay that ish hurts it hurts like hell okay so you don't want to you know, run your fingers through your hair, especially while your hair is wet, because your hair is most fragile during that point when your hair is wet. And you don't want to be running your fingers through your hair and you're snagging it because your nails are chipped and looking crazy. Even if you have nail polish on, and some of y'all, I'm about to step on some toes right now. Some of y'all got paint halfway on your nails right now and it's chipping. The paint is like falling off. Okay, you don't want to be doing your hair and then the, the nail paint gets all caught up in your hair in the web of this. Do you see this? Do you know how long it takes me to get some nail paint out of my hair? Okay, I ain't got time. So make sure that your nails are groomed, people. You want to make sure your nail polish is fully on or take it off. Okay, fully on. Or take it off okay you don't want that stuff in your hair it's, it's, it's just not worth it and like I said make sure your nails are chip free if you need to before you start your wash day if you need to go ahead and file it down make sure you don't have any you know little nuts and crannies in there that's gonna snag your hair because you don't want that trust me trust me okay so my seventh curly hair tip is to sleep on satin pillowcases satin bonnets satin scarves that's nothing new if you've been following me for a while. You have heard me preach this countless times here on my YouTube channel. So if you got cotton pillowcases, please throw it away. Just, it's... I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Do not sleep on cotton pillowcases. I preach this and stress this all the time. If you're sleeping on cotton pillowcases, I don't know why... Oh my God, please throw it away. Throw it away. 
when you sleep on cotton pillowcases, it just robs your hair of all that moisture you put into it, okay? Cotton absorbs all of that moisture and it's just going to leave your hair dry and it messes your hair up. So why put in all that work on wash day only for your hair to get messed up? No! Don't do it! Don't do it! So please, get rid of the pillowcases that are cotton and invest in a good satin or silk pillowcase. Bonnet, scarf, pillowcase. One of the three. Whatever your hair touches when you go to sleep, make sure it's satin or silk, okay? That's going to prevent your hair from frizzing up and satin and silk keeps moisture. It doesn't rob your hair of the moisture. In, in fact, it helps keep it moisturized, okay? Facts. I also travel with mine, so think about vacation time, okay? When you go on these trips, when you go visit Pookie Nim out of town, make sure you take it with you, okay? Have a backup. Stay ready. So tip number eight is to find people with your hair type. And before anyone comments down below, no, I'm not telling you not to follow people whose hair doesn't look like yours. Y'all should know by now the natural hair community is huge and ever growing. So there's plenty of curly hair inspo on Instagram, wherever you are on social media. Shout out to you, girl, if you already following me. If you're not sure what your curl type or curl pattern is, I do believe that naturallycurly.com still has that little quiz on there. Um, and it'll tell you what bucket you fall into um, based on your answers. And I would just suggest that you use that as a general basis for your curl pattern. Like for me, um, when I first started, I fell into the 3B curl pattern. But now I find that my hair has evolved. And I have a mixture of 3B, 3C, I might even got some 4A in here. And don't really stress too much on what your curl type is. No one curl type is better than the other. We're all beautiful out here. We all have beautiful hair. But yeah, when I first started out, I did find it helpful to follow people whose hair looks a little bit like mine because it just made it easier when it came to product choices. And there's still no excuse for trial and error for yourself because like I said, products work differently on different people. And if you do take that curl type quiz, just use it as a general basis, like a general guide because some people do fall into multiple categories, so don't take it so literally. Okay, so this next tip is to be patient, and that's very, very important for when you're doing your hair and as a whole. So please be patient with your hair. If you're detangling your hair for the first time or the 10th time or the 100th time, be patient. Don't just rip through your hair. Don't get frustrated. Don't get overwhelmed. Take your time and be gentle with your hair. If something is not working out for you in your journey like you hoped it would, don't get discouraged. It takes time. And yes, I just hit y'all with another cliche. It takes time. This is not an overnight process. And I'm speaking on the more general sense of being a curly girl or being in the natural hair community. If you want to start your own natural hair journey, just know that you're going to have to be patient and that it takes time. It's not an overnight process, people. You have to give your hair a fair chance to transform, okay? Too many times I hear people say, whether it's friends, family, random people, Ooh, girl, I'm so ready to be team natural, da 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 da, -da. But then after two weeks or a month or two months or whatever has passed by, and they're already going back to the creamy crack. That's just not realistically enough time. My hair didn't get this way overnight. And if y'all have been watching my videos like from way back, my hair looks completely transformed. It's completely different. And I appreciate that process and that time and that hard work and energy that I put into my natural hair journey to get to this point. Like, it takes time, people. Y'all have to be patient. A lot of people want to experience this natural hair life, but not too many people are willing to put in the time and effort that it takes for this natural hair journey. This is a process. This is not a game. It's no joke. All right, I feel like I'm stepping on some toes. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back down. But yeah, like I was saying, please be patient with your hair. Consistency yields results, people. So just remember that. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all with this last and final tip, which I feel is the most important of them all. And it's to love and accept your hair. Everyone's hair is different and unique. 
all hair is not created equal. It's no one size fits all for hair. And to be honest, that's just the God honest truth and the beauty of it. So don't waste your time comparing your hair to someone else's hair. Focus on your hair. I'm all for all curl kind. Like I'm a huge advocate for natural hair, whether your hair is wavy, curly, kinky, coily, no matter your texture, your pattern, your, you know, porosity, it does not matter. I love it all. Natural hair is just beautiful. And I really wish that when I started my natural hair journey that somebody would have told me this because for a long time in the beginning, I hated my hair. Because if you go back and look at some of my photos or some of my videos, which you will be able to tell, like my hair was not the way that I wanted it to be. And I felt like my hair was ugly. But that wasn't the case. I just wasn't loving and accepting my hair for what it was and giving it time to transform. So yeah, no matter where you are in your natural hair journey, just be confident and flaunt whatever the hell grows out of your head, okay? Because it's yours. Own it. And here's a little secret. When you start loving your own hair, everyone else will too. All right, guys, so those were my top 10 curly hair tips for beginners. Let me know what you think about these tips in the comments below. And like I said, these were just my top 10 picks from my experience. So, yeah, let me know in the comments which tips help you and if you have any additional tips of your own that may be helpful to someone else. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!